This is one of my favorite desserts, a cranberry bread pudding with dark chocolate on top. The recipe looks a little complicated, but I promise you, it's not. In a 350 degree oven, we are going to toast some challah bread that is cut up into little pieces. Toast it for about 10 to 15 minutes. In a pot, in a medium heat, we're gonna put heavy cream, half and half, vanilla bean, and a little pinch of salt. Let it simmer, don't let it come to a boil, and then just let it sit there. Let all those flavors of that vanilla bean, let it just infuse that milk. You're gonna whisk your eggs and your sugar all together to incorporate it. Then you're gonna add your cream mixture into the egg and just whisk it. And then what you're gonna do is in another bowl, you're gonna strain this whole egg and cream mixture, add all that delicious bread right into the cream mixture and let it sit for like 10 minutes. Get a small pot and add your orange juice, let it come to a ball, add your cranberries, let it simmer for about five minutes, pull it off the fire, strain it. The final step is to put the cranberries into your 13 by nine pan. So what you do is you sprinkle half the cranberries in there, you add your your whole bread mixture right in there, add more of that cranberries, and then you add your chopped chocolate right in there. So we're gonna do a water bath now. What we're gonna do is get a big aluminum pan. We're gonna put the baking pan into that pan, and we're gonna pour hot boiling water. And what that does, all that steam steeps in there and it cooks it evenly and it, it helps it not curdle. And you bake it in the oven for about 30 to 40 minutes at 350 degrees. You really wanna serve it nice and warm. Cut a nice piece out, a little powdered sugar, and serve it to your guests and just watch them just be like, wow. Get more recipes at goodbite.com.